Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga bagong video tutorials ko. Welcome to another episode of Business Math Tutorials for ABM Senior High School Students. This is your teacher, Ma'am Salgado. Here are the answer to the practice set from the previous video. Determine if the following items are proportion or not proportion. For number 1, 2 over 7 and 16 over 56 is not a proportion. Number 2, 72 over 40 and 9 over 5 is a proportion. And number 3, 4 over 15 and 8 over 24 is not a proportion. Find the value of the variable for each of the following item. So n over 6 equals 10 over 3. So we'll have 3n equals 60. So n equals 20. For number 2, 7 over x equals 14 over 3. So we'll have 14x equals 21. So x is 3 halves or 1.5. For number 3, 2 over y equals y over 3, so we'll have y squared equals 6. So our y is square root of 6. Good job on getting the correct answer. The learning competency is identify different kinds of proportion and give examples for each. For today's objective, at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to differentiate the types of proportions and solve problems involving ratio and proportion. So our topic for today is the types of proportions. So what are the types of proportion? So we have direct proportion, indirect or inverse proportion, and the partitive proportion. So what is a direct proportion? Two variables say x and y varying such that as x increases, y also increases, or as x decreases, y also decreases proportionally. So that is x sub 1 over y sub 1 equals x sub 2 over y sub 2 or so, x sub 1 times y sub 2 equals x sub 2 over y sub 1. So, meaning, kapag tumaas yung value ng isa, tataas din yung isa. Example number 1. Two boxes of chocolates cost 180 pesos. How much do 7 boxes of chocolates cost? So, this is an example of direct proportion. Bakit? Kasi, habang dumadami yung number of boxes ng chocolates, syempre, tataas din yung cost niya. So, we have the proportion number of box over the cost. So, to solve, so we substitute the given values. So, we have 2 boxes is to 180 pesos equals 7 boxes and we're looking for the cost. So, by cross-multiplication or following the fundamental property of proportion, so we have 2 boxes times the cost equals 7 boxes times 180 pesos. So, the cost we're looking for, so we'll have 7 boxes times 180 divided by 2 boxes. So, the answer is 630 pesos. So, therefore, 7 boxes of chocolates cost 630 pesos. Example number 2. If J.C. Lee earns 5,250 in 15 days, how much will she earn in 45 days? So, this is also direct proportion kasi halbang tumatagal o dumadami yung araw ng trabaho ni J.C. Lee, tumataas yung kinikita niya. So, we have the proportion of the number of days is to earnings. So substituting the given values we have, 15 days is to 
5,250 equals 45 days and we're looking for the earnings in 45 days. So we will have the earnings equals 45 days times 500, uh, 5,250 over 15 days. We will have 15,750 pesos. So therefore, JC Lee would earn 15,750 pesos in 45 days. So what is an inverse proportion? Two variables say x and y varying such that as x increases, y decreases, or as x decreases, y increases proportionally. So that is the product of x and y is always the same. So kung sa direct proportion, habang tumataas yung isa, tumataas din yung isa, sa inverse naman, kapag tumaas yung isa, bumababa naman yung isa. So that will be, so x sub 1 over x sub 2 equals y sub 2 over y sub 1. So sabi kanina, product of x and y is always the same. So x sub 1 times y sub 1 equals x sub 2 times y sub 2. So, example number one. A car covers a distance in 45 minutes with an average speed of 70 km per hour. What is the average speed to cover the same distance in 30 minutes? So, we were looking for uh, the ratio of the time equals to the ratio of the speed. So, substituting the given values, we have 45 minutes is to 25 minutes and then we have the speed number 2 and then we have the 70 km per hour so speed 2 equals 45 minutes times 70 km per hour over 30 minutes equals 105 km per hour so kung mapapansin nyo Kanina, in 45 minutes, nakuha niya yung certain distance na ang speed ay 70 km per hour. So, no naging 30 minutes na lang, so kailangan ang speed niya ay 105 km per hour. So, nung umigsi yung time, bumilis yung speed. So, therefore, the average speed needed to cover the same distance in 30 minutes is 105 km per hour. Next example, example number 2. If 5 person can finish a job in 12 days, then how many days can 4 person finish the, sh the same job? So that is person sub 1 over person sub 2 equals time sub 2 over time sub 1. Substituting the given values we have, 5 person over 4 person equals time sub 2 over 12 days. So, by cross multiplication, we'll have time sub 2 equals 5 person can finish 12 days. So, how many, how many days for 4 person? So, that's the time sub 2 that we are looking for. So, 5 times 12 over 4, we will have 15 days. So, therefore, it would take 15 days for 4 person to do the job. So, kung mapapansin nyo, inverse sila. So, kanina 5, it would take 12 days. Nung nabawasan ng tao, mas tumagal yung number of days para matapos yung isang job. So, what is a partitive proportion? So, partitive proportion meaning a whole is divided into more than 2 parts. So, it is a proportion of a quantity being distributed or divided unequally into two or more parts. So, example, 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, magkakaiba yung part. Yung isa, 1 part lang. Yung isa, 2 parts. Yung isa ay 3 parts, which makes a whole. So, example number 1. Ratio of boys to girls in a class is 3 is to 5. If there are 48 students in the class, how many boys and girls are there? So, let's represent 3x is the number of boys and 5x is the number of girls. So, substituting the given values, we have 
3x plus 5x equals 48. So we'll have 8x equals 48. So our x is 6. So then we can now substitute the value of x and solve for the number of boys and the number of girls. So number of boys equals 3x. So 3 times 6 is 18. And number of girls equals 5x. So you have 5 times 6 equals 30. So therefore, the number of boys in the class is 18 and the number of girls is 30, which makes 48 total students in the class. Example number 2. Ella has a budget of 1,500 for the allowance of her three kids. How much will Robbie, Jonard, and Diana get if the money was divided with a ratio of 4 is to 5 is to 6? So let 4y be allowance of Robbie, 5y for Jonard, and 6y for Diana. So substituting the given values we have, so 4y plus 5y plus 6y equals 1,500. So we have 5y equals 1,500. Or our y equals 100. So substituting the value of y, we will have Robbie for y. So we have 4 times 100, that's 400 pesos. So for Jonard, 5 times 100, that's 500 pesos. And Diana, 6 times 100 is 600 pesos. Therefore, from 1,500 budget for allowance, Ella would give 400 for Robbie, 500 for Jonard, and 600 for Diana. Okay, so now it's your turn to practice. Okay, that's it for today. I'll give the answer on the next video. Before we end today's lesson, here are some thoughts to ponder. The results you achieve will be in direct proportion to the effort you apply. By Dennis Whiteley. That's it for today. Bye. See you in our next lesson.